Do you think that F-35 is a critical weapon for Taiwan? I would build the asymmetric defense first, right? F-35s are expensive platforms. Um, they're built for a conventional warfare approach. 认为台湾提升不对称战力才是王道。前美国国防部长艾斯培访台最后一天，接受媒体联合专访，进一步阐述。It would be building a very strong territorial defense core that multiplies the number of people able to fight and defend their own country from the 170,000 you have now into the millions, much like we see in Ukraine. And to do that. They need to know how to use small arms. 只是刺针、标枪、飞弹等都是单兵利器。难道美方想定共军攻台会如俄乌战争一样，最后形成短兵相接吗 ？There are so many scenarios. There was an expression of the need to get greater access to weapons such as the the javelin and the stinger. 对于贩售远程打击武器，埃斯佩认为不是不行，只是觉得应该先强化不对称作战才对。至于美方售台武器，常被质疑是上一代军股以及自己曾为军火商雷神的说客身份，他这样回应。I trust that the Pentagon is recommending the right types of systems to Taiwan, whether it procures its, whether it builds its own weapons. Procures it from a U.S. defense maker or somewhere else.、Uh, that's not my focus.、Uh, my focus is on making sure that Taiwan can defend itself. So I have no, I have no material interest or relationship with Raytheon. 被问及任内让多少美军来台训练国军，他不愿回应。至于美国众议长佩洛西传出八月访台，但拜登说军方认为此时访台非好主意。埃斯佩觉得难以置信。I don't think we should allow China to dictate the travel schedules of American officials. 作为现任防长访台，埃斯佩期间态度超坦率，更不断强调自己对台的处方签确实也引发话题。t v b s 新闻周家南、洪富华、刘婷婷、爱群小组台北报道。请支持 TVBS 国际 Plus 全新频道，让您扩大视野，掌握趋势，接轨全世界。恳请订阅，开启小铃铛。